Hey guys, PG Design here once again. Today we're going to be looking at animation in Inventor. So go to New, open up a standard assembly, and place some objects that you want to animate into that assembly. So I've already created these two objects. You guys can create something similar if you want, or you can just follow along. So as you can see, this one right here is not grounded, so I want you to go and ground that and unground the other shape. So I want your wheel to be free. So the first constraint that I want you guys to place on this assembly is that face to this face right here. Go ahead, flush that, and 0.5 to center it on my path. So hit apply, cancel, then zoom out, and you can see that it can move back and forth on here, but it can't move in this plane. So that's perfect. Next constraint I want you guys to put is this axis to this flat section right here. Great. So don't hit OK yet because we have to move this up. So let's try 5.5. So this is a bit of a guessing game. We want to get this so that this almost aligns perfectly. So 5.7, 5.75. Yeah, OK. 5.75 works perfectly. So hit Apply, Cancel. So now you can see that this can rotate and move back and forth, but it can't go up and down anymore. So the next constraint I want you to do is going to stop it from rotating. So hit constrain, open up your gear and your origin list right here. Open up the origin in your gear. Select the XZ plane, and I want you to constrain that, an angle constraint, a directed angle constraint to the YZ plane. So zero degrees, perfect. This can't rotate anymore. Hit apply, cancel, and you can see that it can only move back and forth. Last constraint I want you to apply before we, before we go to the animation. This to the end, great. Zoom into the bottom here, let's try negative one, nope that's not going to work, negative five, negative five five, a bit more, negative five six, negative five, negative point six, let's try that, six five, six three, there, six three should do the trick. As you can see, this is almost aligned perfectly, so hit apply. So now I just want you guys to measure something, so go to inspect, hit distance, and select the top of one of your gears, and select the center of your entire design and this is going to give you your radius this is important because I want you guys to go into Excel open something up open up a file and we know that the circumference is equal to pi r squared so we know that r is 5.7 so 5.7 times 2 gives you diameter times pi which is 3.15 no sorry 1415 hit enter now multiply those all together and this is going to give you your circumference so this one times this times this. Great. So our circumference is 35.8. So I know that my path is 30 inches long. So we're going to do the ratio. 30. So now equals 30 divided by 35. 0.83. So we know that one full rotation is 360 degrees. So we want to find the amount of degrees that this is going to rotate to get to the end of its path. So equals this times our ratio, which is 0.837. So 301.6 degrees, great. So we have the amount of degrees we want our thing to rotate. So close this, go to environments and hit inventor studio. And in here you have all your options for animation. We're going to go to constraints because we're going to be animating our constraints right now. So if you want to open this up, open this dialog box up and click on this little tab right here, it's going to open up your animation timeline. So right here it wants you to select your constraint that it wants you to animate. So select your angle click on that and then we want our animation to last 10 seconds so type in 10 at the end of your animation thing right here and at the end of 10 seconds we want it to be at 301.6 degrees hit OK so now this is gonna rotate as you can see if you move this slider it's gonna rotate 310 301.6 degrees so go to 10 here or actually you can just go back to constraints click on it type in 10 at the end again and select your mate between your axis and the end of your path. Select that. Here, type in negative 30. And this is going to bring it 30 to the end of the path, like we calculated in Excel. So hit OK. So now we want to make sure that these gears are actually aligning. So roll this. And as you can see, it's not aligning perfectly. By the looks of it, it's moving a bit too fast forward. So double click on your one that aligns your animation that aligns with mate and you can change around some settings in here. So instead of minus 30 we're going to shorten that distance to let's try 28. Hit OK. 
So now you want to go back to the beginning and take a look at it again and see how it looks. So it looks like it's falling pretty nicely into these grooves. Maybe a bit too fast still, so double click on it again and try negative 27. Give that a try, 27.5, because it was pretty close. Hit OK. Go back to the beginning and try this again and see frame by frame where it falls. So that almost looks perfect. Yeah, so almost perfect. Double click on it. It's a bit bit short, so go over and type in point six five. And that should do the trick. Okay. There. See the end is pretty close. That's good enough for us. Close up this. Center, you can center this, and it's gonna make your final animation look a bit better. So right now we're not gonna play with any of these other things like camera or surface styles. We can do that in the next video. I'll show you how to rotate your camera around your shape and create a much nicer animation. This is just your basic constraint animation. Go to render animation. And the largest that my computer or inventor will do on my computer is 1280. Select your largest one. And all these things are gonna stay the same for now. Go to output. This antalization is just the quality of the video that you're rendering, so that's fine right there, it doesn't really matter. Preview no render. If you hit preview with no render, it's going to take quite a long time. I'll just, I'll just give you an example. So I'm going to save this as video 2, enter, perfect. And also make sure you change this to 10 seconds or it's going to render a lot of frames that have nothing in them. Style, true reflection, that's fine. 15 frames per second, 30 makes it look pretty smooth. So hit render. And then hit OK. So this is what it's going to do if you preview no render. So close this because this is going to take a long time to do. Go back to general, your general tab, go to your output tab and hit preview no render. Then hit render again. Yes, you want to replace that. So this is going to render a lot faster. So this is going to do a frame by frame. It's not going to be quite as nice of an animation. So I'm going to let this load and show you the final result. So it's rendered now and it looks pretty darn good. So close this up and search your video. Video 2. So look at this. It's rolling nicely. All the grooves are in place. The video quality isn't the best. So we'll be looking at how to change this up in the next video. So subscribe and thanks for watching.